Before we start this video, I just would like to thank all my patrons that are going above and beyond to support my channel. You guys are amazeballs. I would also like to thank my subscribers and to those who supported me since the beginning, especially the Weight Army peeps. Thank you guys, you are all amazing. What is up, Ketchup? This is Ataka Desane and welcome again to another reaction video of Tuyoku Nareru Yoshite Boku wo Subete Subete? Subete I don't know <laughs> I cannot wait to watch this next episode. It was fire the previous episode. It was so fun to watch. The animation was ridiculous. But before we start, I just want to say this. I appreciate you guys watching my reaction videos and most of you here are very understanding and plainly enjoying the reaction. However, there are some of you that doesn't like it when I miss stuff. Like I understand it could get frustrating that I miss some parts but I am pretty sure these will get explained the further I move on with the episodes in this anime. I just basically need your full understanding guys and I, I haven't watched this anime before like some of you guys and I tried to react and comment to things that I would usually notice first so if I missed something do let me know at the comment section but do remember that there is a person behind this camera I appreciate you guys and this is just how I react to things there are people that enjoy the anime in their own way and in might be different from how you look at it but I am sure not everyone here caught all the details per episode especially on their first time so just bear with me guys <laughs> so I'm so sorry if I missed your favorite parts or I missed like a really main part of this anime but yeah you can just let me know at the comment section so you guys know I might also be more on the visual side rather than you know reading the subs but yes that's the thing that i need to work on thank you guys for understanding and i love you to bits arigato gozaimasu <laughs> okay enough of that and let's just talk about this next episode because uh, i'm really excited so at the moment tanjiro is stuck in this mountain full of demons that was captured by the demon slayers and is now fighting one of them kind of able to decapitate this bro so kudos to you Tanjiro well done <laughs> yes like I said I really enjoyed the animation uh, previous episode and the episode before that so I would love to see more so let's go and move on to episode 5 Desne. <laughs> so before we start this video, please support my channel by giving this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button to get the latest videos. Okay, so usually they would wait things out till the end before Ninja starts cutting onions but apparently not in this anime because it starts early. <laughs> How can you expect me to watch this show? Like there is so much crying in this anime that I can't keep up, seriously. I also didn't expect that I would cry for a demon. That's very interesting. I just feel so bad for that demon and because I'm sure that he didn't want to be a demon in the beginning because obviously he was a human before but yeah it was just so sad to yeah know that he was just waiting for someone to hold his hand oh. <laughs> his own chan but yeah glad that Tanjiro held his hand because he needed that before he you know went off to I don't know heaven somewhere I don't know 
I also feel so bad for Tanjiro, he is so innocent. He thought the dude he tried to save died because of him, but the dude actually ditched the guy. Or the dude actually ditched Tanjiro, so I'm like, yeah, you're too good for this world, Tanjiro. <laughs> okay, I have a question, and <laughs> don't kill me with this one. Okay, so I thought there are five survivors from what the guy was saying. Why did they only show four? Who's the fifth one? Did I miss anything? <laughs> did I miss anything? Did I, did I miss something again? This is crazy. Maybe it's that guy that Tanjiro saved but he ran away and they couldn't find him or something. But if you do know, let me know in the comment section if I missed something. But if I didn't and it might get explained later on in the episode, don't bother telling me. <laughs> also, I feel like there is something interesting about that sword. We might have one of those from like the, the bleach. Yeah, like, you know, Ichigo's Bankai. It was like a really thin sword. It's a thin black sword and it was very, very mysterious. And it was much stronger than his bigger sword. So I wonder if it... No, it's definitely not a Bankai, but I mean, I wonder if it's like a strong sword, like a stronger colored sword. I don't know if there's like a meaning to it being black, but mm, I don't know. It looks mysterious anyway. I was seriously expecting something crimson because everyone, including me, expected the red one. But apparently it was black, so... Hmm, maybe there is something behind this black sword, whatever. If it's a spoiler, don't tell me, but if I miss something, you can tell me at the bottom. The bottom comment section area. Whatever. <laughs> I also love the aspect that this anime gives in terms of how demons still have some form of humanity in them like especially during their death or yeah before their death it's just very well thought of it makes you kind of pity them obviously they didn't want to be a demon i'm 100 percent sure because they were humans before and they didn't want to be a demon maybe some of them but i'm sure most of them didn't want to because who who wants to eat humans nah. well except for nezuko nezuko is definitely going to be sleeping until she replenish her energy it's also cool that tanjiro kind of refused to let his hatred and grief while you know going up against the demons um, kind of get the best of him so that's it's a beautiful touch in this anime i love it also one question how come that beautiful butterfly girl um whatever her name is because i don't know <laughs> didn't have a scratch on her she must be really strong because usually when they're like that and the protagonist is all you know uh, battered and all bruised and stuff and then there's this one dude that is like, you know, untouched or for some reason, then she must be strong. So there you go. <laughs> okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any suggestion to anything or if you have any comments that you want to say, comment at the comment section below and let me know. Anyways guys, um, thank you again for watching and I will see you on the next one. Janet!